Welcome back, guys. Time now for our Medical Monday segment. And tonight, we take a look at the dangers of that pre-game or pre-workout energy drink. Joining us now from St. Vincent, Dr. Eric Gordon. Thanks for being here, Doc. Thanks, Jason. I am very guilty of this. I'm oh, pretty yeah. much addicted to Red Bull. Are you telling me these things can actually be pretty dangerous? Energy drinks on the whole, I should say? Well, the uh, short answer is we don't know for sure. Yeah. The, uh, I think the thing that people need to know is that there have been some adverse event reports um, brought to light on three energy drinks, Five Hour Energy, Rockstar, and then Monster uh, in particular. Now, what these reports are, since these are supplements, they're filed with the FDA. If something bad happens, someone has a lot of nausea, vomiting, whatever it is, then they file a report, then the companies have to file it with the FDA. Unfortunately, they've been collecting reports for several years. Since about 2004, some reports have come out linking these drinks to bad things, heart yeah. irregularities, and like you mentioned, even death in some cases. Now, these are under investigation, which means they've not necessarily been proven. They're just people filing these reports, making others aware. Now, you say there's, there's a few that are possibly more dangerous. Do you think the other ones that maybe not are on that list, or it's just a matter of time? Maybe they just haven't discovered that yet? Possibly. It's hard to say. I mean, these are the ones that have reports filed with the FDA. Other drinks may fly under the radar because they're not a nutritional supplement, so to speak, and so they may not have to file reports. But these are con concerning things. Do you think these results have anything to do with just the, you know, more and more uh, energy drinks coming on the market, just blowing up, really? Well, I think that has to do with dollars and cents. Yeah. I mean, the energy drink business is huge. And, I mean, there's a lot of business there. And that also makes you think, well, you know, there's millions of people consuming these and only a few reports. So, you know, the, the reports don't indicate whether people have underlying medical problems or that sort of thing. My big thing or the thing I worry about is especially being in Arkansas. It gets hot in the summertime. Mm -hmm. All right. We are worried that caffeine may inhibit the body's ability to regulate temperature. And so high caffeine drinks and heat don't mix well. Right. So especially in the summertime, you got football players doing two a days. I don't think it's a good idea to drink energy drinks just to get yourself through those right. type of practices especially. Now, are there any warning signs that, you know, maybe some of us should look for that we should say, okay, we need to cut these out of our diet completely? <laughs> well, not in particular, but I mean, the, the main things that I read the reports and see concerned with is that these may be linked to irregular heartbeats, irregular heart rhythms. So if you have heart palpitations, okay. feel your heart beating funny, that sort of thing, feel lightheaded, those sorts of things, I would stop it right there. I mean, no reason to push it. Let me ask Dr. Gordon, does he drink energy drinks? I do not. You don't? I do not. Okay. I do drink coffee, though, which also has a fair amount of caffeine. If you look at some of these drinks, they have a good amount of caffeine, but frankly, it's not a whole lot than what you get in a regular eight-ounce cup of coffee. And in the world of Starbucks, where they make small, big, and yeah. bigger, I mean, you can get a whole lot of caffeine in a, a venti cup of coffee, from yeah. more, even more than one of these energy drinks. And you could, in comparison, you could say a cup of coffee is, I guess, is more of a natural way of getting your caffeine. Well, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it comes from a bean anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. And, uh, but yeah, besides coffee, that's it. I think the best way to keep your energy up, get enough sleep, and really drink water. It's amazing how much just staying hydrated, you know, drinking those eight-ounce eight, you know, eight ounce glasses of water throughout the day will, will give you more energy. Okay, so rest and water can do just as much as maybe a couple Red Bulls. That's right. Okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Appreciate Thank your you. time.